Right. In this problem, it uh, gives us the decomposition of SO2Cl2, um, and it breaks down to SO2 and Cl2. Okay, and it tells us that it's first order in SO2Cl2, and the reaction has a half-life of this at that temperature. And if you begin with uh, 3.6 times 10 to the minus 3 moles of SO2Cl2 in a 1 liter flask, okay, so in other words, mol molar, um, moles per liter, how long will it take for the amount of SO2Cl2 to decrease to 2 times 10 to the minus 4th moles? Okay, so we want to know how long, that's amount of time, for the concentration to get to a certain point. So time uh, to concentration, we need a relation there, and that is going to be from the integrated rate law. Okay, so uh, since this is a first order reaction, the integrated rate law is um, the uh, the natural log of um, and where A represents the SO2Cl2 A0 equals minus KT okay this is an equation that would be given to you um, on a test but uh, this relates the initial and the current concentrations to time given the rate constant okay so and and that's the key because you'll notice here um, I'm not given the rate constant okay I do have um, my final concentration and I have an uh, an initial concentration okay so that's the first part and I I want to know how long so I'm just lacking K and that's where the half-life comes in I have 245 minutes um, is my half-life um, and so what I need to do is uh, I need to know the relation between the half-life, the T1 half, for a first order reaction is the natural log of 2 over K, right? So with this, I have my half-life, I can find K, then I can plug that into there, and I have those so I can solve for, uh, for the time. All right, so let's go ahead and plug in our uh, our numbers. Uh, first, let me find k. If we just uh, solve this for k, we'll have uh, equals ln of two over t one half, and that will be um, uh, the t one half was two hundred and forty five minutes. So we have. Uh, ln 2 over 245 minutes, which equals, um, let's see here, now I have uh, 2 and then the natural log is 0.693 divided by um, 245. And that will give me um, 0 0.002829. Okay, 0 0.002829. Um, I'll leave it like that. So that is my rate constant. And I'll put that here. So now uh, let me go ahead and solve this for time. I'm just going to divide by negative k. Um, so I'll just put that out in uh, in front like this okay so I'll have my 1 over negative K um, times the natural log of a over a naught ok 
okay? And of course, A uh, is SO2Cl2, all right? So when I plug in those values, I'll have uh, negative 1 over 0 0.002829 times the natural log of my uh, my final concentration whoop, of SO2Cl2. I want to know how long it takes to decrease to 2.0 times 10 to the minus fourth moles in that same liter flask. And I'm starting at, at 3.6 times 10 to the minus three moles per liter. Okay, so that's not for us. Um, so where am I at here? So we have uh, the current con or the final concentration of 2.00 molar. Uh, sorry, times 10 to the uh, minus fifth molar divided by 3.6 times 10 to the minus third molar. Okay, so we divide this, we have uh, two exponent uh, negative five divided by 3.6 exponent negative three equals, and we have 5.55 times 10 to the minus three, but I want the uh, natural log of that, okay? That's this part. And then I'm going to divide that by a negative point zero, and you'll notice it's a negative here, so that uh, cancels that out, um, which uh, is good because time can't be negative. <laughs> All right, so divide by negative point zero zero two eight two nine. Um, Zero zero two eight two nine negative equals eighteen thirty five point six one okay or eighteen thirty five the units um, I didn't write them there but for this number one over uh, minutes or inverse minutes okay so if I have uh, inverse minutes on the bottom that will end up being minutes on top so 1835 minutes or we can take that number uh, divide by 60 and that'll be 30.6 hours okay